Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Art here to introduce a pop art demo on digital drawing. You're going to get to see me work in Word. That's right, just Microsoft Word, and we're gonna be doing a digital drawing. So I've got my reference image picked out, and I also have a template that you'll get to see a little later. That's something that you could have access to if you wanted that. So first off, I'm gonna go ahead and help myself out a little bit by putting that reference image in here, and I'm going to draw around the main outline of this object. So this is something great if you are not feeling super confident with drawing freehand, you know, help yourself out a little. Uh, it's not the end of the world. Pop artists actually stole a lot of the work that they created. So call it inspiration, call it whatever you'd like. Um, we're actually looking at a style by Roy Lichtenstein. So you can see I'm now wrapping my text to behind text and I am using that Bendy dot template that I've made. And again, you could choose to use it if you would like. So I'm starting with my background here and I'm using lighter colors to fill in my background. I am actually just drawing by touch right now. My stylus pen is not with me. I am just drawing with my finger here on my touch screen and that's how we're gonna go ahead and do this today. So really I'm, I'm doing this to prove that you don't need a lot. You don't need crazy software, especially for some of my students. This is maybe all we have access to. So I'm using some different word functions here in drawing to pick out my own colors and try to customize that according to my reference image. Which in this case, I'm just using a gaming controller for my object. You can see it has a little bit of text and it definitely, I can give it that pop art feel. So I'm gonna finish adding color to all my main areas before I add any of my details. So with my background colors blocked in, I am starting to add details now, and I'm taking advantage of the shape options here in Word. I am adding and editing those shapes, which is something you might find uh, useful if you wanna take advantage of that. Just as I was playing with the layout of where my objects were, I wanna check to see what layers are in front or behind, and I can move things forward and backwards as needed. I'm zooming in and out a lot. At this stage, you know, you might notice a few glitches. I actually started to notice things got a little jumpy because after all, this is just Microsoft Word, but it's actually a great design program. At this point, there's so many great functions. So I'm filling in my Bende dots at this point, and I'm using the ink to shape feature in Word, which is just so cool. It allows me to go so fast. And again, I'm just drawing with my finger. There's other ways to do this. Of course, you could fill in each one by hand on the computer. You could also choose to create shapes as I did on the front of my controller. You could copy and paste a whole bunch of circles and move them all around. I found that this way went pretty fast, so I ran with it. As I fill in my dots here, I'm gonna to start to think about the next area that I wanna tackle. I am going to go for those larger areas first, remember, so that's why I started in my background and now I'll start to focus on my object. You'll notice me move pretty quickly to select my colors and changing the stroke or the thickness of my digital mark here on the screen. If you do have a drawing stylus or digital stylus pen, that can be a great option. I think you might have a little bit more control. I definitely struggled with that a little bit. Uh, but again, this was a great opportunity for me to practice this and show that it really it can be done. So we'll see how this turns out in the end. Again, customizing some colors. It's an option you might want to consider. Those dots in front, that Bende style dot, I went darker with those in front so that they would really stand up off my background. And you're going to see me go back in and do some touch-ups and would we'll be bringing my shapes forward. So again, just another little trick. I'm kind of bringing that layer up to the front. So I'll go for my final touches. I'm trying to get every little dot in there as best as I can. So you'll see me jump around and touch those up. Again, you can see it glitching a little bit. I got a lot going on here. It probably doesn't help that I have probably 50 tabs open. I'm a tab abuser. I keep a lot of my pages open. I should 
probably close them out more often, but uh, you know, here we are, middle of a demo and things get a little glitchy. At this point, I'm adding hatching for my shadows. Remember, pop artists really exaggerate their shadows and they use that kind of line style. I'm curving my line slightly where it's appropriate so that they're following the contour of the object. And now I'm adding in my highlights. You could see that I quickly pulled up my reference image just to check out where those highlights should go. Again, adding in more of those hatching areas for my shadow. I'm taking advantage of the shapes again and this time I'm adding a box and I make sure the center fill is transparent and now I can thicken my line, change the color, and throw on a border there. It's a great option if you are trying this at home. You're gonna see me cheat here a little bit. I happen to pick an object that has some really, really tiny text, and it's also not that interesting. Uh, you know, no offense to Nintendo, but the text that they use is really pretty basic and bold, and I think I could match it really easily with the text option. So this will be a final touch that I add, since it was just nearly impossible for me to draw so tiny with my finger. If you had a larger logo, I would expect that you'd wanna draw that. So now I'm just saving it and I'm getting a snip of it. I'm using that snipping tool so I can get a really clean JPEG so that's an easy file format to share later. So here it is. This is my finished pop art inspired artwork with Roy Lichtenstein's Bende style dots. This whole drawing took me about 45 minutes and again I was just using Microsoft Word and I drew with my finger. I didn't even use a drawing stylus. So you can definitely do it, give it a try, and if you do, share your work with me.